Uh, yes. Um, thanks again for having me. Uh, as Bernhard was saying, uh, I do the product management for Wikidata at Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, and since the beginning of the year, we also have um, Sam Alipio, who is a colleague of mine and who is working on making Wikibase, the software that underlies Wikidata, more of a thing outside the, the Wikimedia projects. Um, unfortunately, she can't be here today, but um, I will uh, jump in for her and tell you a bit about what's new in the world of Wikibase and where we are going. Um, so, for those of you who are not familiar with um, Wikibase, I will give a very short um, intro to uh, what is actually Wikibase. Wikibase is the software that powers Wikidata um, and that we started developing um, about eight and a half years ago. And it started out as a project very much focused on supporting Wikipedia and then branched out from there. And um, one of those branches is that the software is not just useful for uh, Wikimedia, but also for many, many other people. So what it offers very condensed is uh, functionality to create and manage a knowledge base um, with user-defined properties. Um, so in that sense, not so uh, different from Semantic Media Wiki. It has a rich user interface to make that easy uh, to access that data and, and update it. Um, it is built with the idea in mind that um, there's knowledge diversity and multilingual usage and that this is very important. Um, <clears throat> we provide exports to many different formats um, and you can query and display the results of those queries um, with Sparkle. To make this a bit less abstract, um, this is what it looks like for the example uh, item, so the entry for Semantic Media Wiki, for example. Now, you might ask yourself, when is Wikibase um, the right thing to use? Usually, Wikibase is um, good for you if you want to uh, structured data that has to be very flexible, where the model around it has to be very flexible, and um, you want to model data with items, properties, and very detailed statement, very statements, very rich statements. So, for example, to track um, provenance with references, or to add qualifiers to statements to, for example, uh, limit them in time or give more additional information. It's also um, useful if you want a knowledge base that can both be read and edited by human and machines and not just the one or the other. Um, it's useful for projects where you want several people to maintain that data and edit that data because if it's just one person, it's probably a bit overkill. Um, you probably want to use it in projects where Multilingualism, as we've heard uh, in the previous talk, um, is important where you want labels in different languages, where you want to look at the data in different languages. And um, it's very useful for projects that involve cataloging, authority files, controlled vocabulary, and um, similar things. So <clears throat> let's look a bit um, at the Wikibase ecosystem, as we call it. So ecosystem is um, our metaphor for um, things to come and that we are working on. And we are coming at this from the idea that both with Wikidata and Wikibase, we have this vision to, to give more people more access to more knowledge. And there's so much behind this. Um, <laughs> But specifically for the Wikibase ecosystem, um, we're trying to build this thriving ecosystem where you have many different knowledge bases that are linked together and to Wikidata um, to make much more data available and connected and queryable and accessible for many more people. And especially um, for, for more specialized knowledge than 
the general purpose data that Wikidata holds, for example. If you look at the Wikibase ecosystem today, um, it is very heavy uh, on GLAMS, our short form for, gallery, for galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. But there's um, also uh, quite a few existing Wikibase instances, for example, in science and technology, um, <clears throat> in linguistics, um, in geodata, but of course also in the Wikimedia projects themselves with uh, Wikidata, but also Wikimedia Commons now. To make this a bit less abstract, let's look at some examples. Um, the German National Library, for example, is looking at, um, or more than looking at, <laughs> very hard working on it, uh, using Wikibase to hold their, um, to work with their integrated authority file, uh, the GND. So data about authors, uh, books, and a ton of other things they're um, they tracking in their authority file. Um, there's also, for example, the Enslaved Project, um, which is compiling data about um, enslaved people uh, around slave trade and making visualizations out of that to make it um, more understandable, but also to support research um, around that and better understanding and teaching. Or there is FactGrid, which is one of the very early um, Wikibase instances, which um, is run by a um, team of researchers at the University of, um, of Effort. Um, and they started out collecting data about research around the Illuminati and their history. Um, so who had which pseudonym, who was sending letters to whom, and uh, similar other interesting things that you could imagine around the Illuminati. And um, from there, it was expanded to uh, um, a database or a knowledge base around with data around humanities research. So if you're um, into digital humanities, this is definitely a project uh, you would want to check out. We also have um, Linked Jazz, um, which is collecting um, structured data around jazz and jazz musicians and their music uh, in order to better research uh, connections between jazz artists who collaborated with whom and so on. And this is just um, a small sample of the uh, Wikibased instances that are out there that I hope will give you some good overview of um, what is possible already and what people are doing. So let's look at some of the things that um, we want to do in the future. We want to continue to build out Wikibase and uh, the Wikibase ecosystem. And there's still a lot of work to be done. One big thing um, is what we call federation. So this is basically the, uh, about the ability of using um, content from one Wikibase in another Wikibase. And uh, the thing we're currently in the final stages of development is the first part of that, which is called federated properties. Once this is done, you will be able to use properties from, for example, Wikidata in your own Wikibase instance. And we hope that makes it a lot easier for people um, to set up their own uh, Wikibase instance because they don't have to put so much time and effort into setting up their own ontology um, before they can get started modeling some data. We are currently looking for people to start testing us. If you're interested in this, please um, reach out to me. Another big area that um, we want to put, uh, that we are putting a lot of effort in is third party optimization. And with that, I mean, basically making it easier for people that are not sitting in the Wiki, data Wikibase team to set up um, 
a Wikibase instance and use it. So specifically, um, we have been improving um, the setup and maintenance process uh, by providing Docker images um, for easy installing. Um, we're working on uh, setting up predictable and regular release cycles so that people are um, more able to predict what's coming up. And um, we've been working and will continue to work on documenting a lot of things to make it easier to, um, to set up and maintain a Wikibase instance. In the same area, we have been working on what we call a Wikibase manifest. Around Wikidata, there are a ton of tools that people have built um, that make working on Wikidata a lot easier. Um, adapting those tools to other Wikibase instances has been a challenge because a lot of them have been hard-coded and um, very tailored to Wikidata. One of the reasons for that is that a lot of the necessary configuration for those wikis, like which properties exist on that wiki, which properties express certain constraints on that wiki and so on are in the data in that wiki itself. Um, so we are working on exposing um, that in a machine readable way to make it easier for people who write those tools around Wikidata to make them um, work with any other Wikibase instance um, more easily. Uh, that will come with one of the next um, media wiki releases. And again, if you would like to uh, test this and work with us on it, uh, please do reach out. We would love to have some testers for it. Which brings me to the future. Um, what's on the roadmap? The big things that are um, themes for the next year are uh, taking a federation between Wikibases one step further. That means based on what um, feedback we get from you and other users, um, we will decide uh, how to continue with federation. So one thing people have been telling us, for example, is that they don't just want to use the uh, properties from Wikidata in their uh, Wikibase, but also the items to, for example, be able to access a list of countries without having to set them up in their own wiki. We will continue to improve the installation and setup process so it becomes easier. And um, we will make it easier to update an existing uh, instance and um, maintain it. And the third big thing, which I think is something uh, you all can help with and want to be a part of, is that we are building up a support network. So Wikimedia Deutschland um, isn't able to and doesn't want to be the only one who supports uh, the Wikibase ecosystem, but it, um, it should be a collaboration with many different people providing uh, support, uh, consultation, custom development around it in a sustainable way. And uh, we will be working over the next uh, year to set that all up and make it work um, for everyone involved. And with that, I'm open for your questions and discussions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lydia. There's one question in the chat I see. Uh, any suggestions on how to restrict access to parts of the data or add access control? Yes. So access control is generally something that we've been hearing from a few people and organizations who um, are looking into Wikibase. Um, it has been... Um, a bit challenging to understand what exactly uh, they would like to restrict, um, for whom, um, and how they would like to uh, see it restricted. So for example, it is different if I just um, want to generally hide something versus a top-notch security. No one must ever be able to read this uh, type of thing, right? 
or it's different if you would like to um, protect a single item, so a single data entry versus parts of that entry, and um, there's different challenges involved. Um, but if you're interested in, in that, we would love to talk to you and understand that more and figure out how to make that happen in the future. There's definitely um, already some media wiki extensions to protect um, pages from certain people seeing them. And those should also work with uh, Wikibase, but we would have to look into the details and I'm happy to talk. Uh, there's another question. Is the federation of properties with property data or just property types or both? I am not sure what you mean with that. Could you clarify? <laughs> David, can you can you share your you can, you can enter the session and, and ask your question to clarify this? Yes. We can't no, we, no, we can't hear you. Nope. No, we cannot hear you, David. Sorry. <laughs> no. Maybe you can type it in the chat. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, I will read another question. Oh, no, mm -hmm. someone is coming on. Ben. Let's see if this works. Another question is, will it be possible for a query to one wiki base to be split up and farmed out to other wiki bases? Certain categories of wiki data could be broken up uh, by type, species, scholarly wiki works, and patents each have millions of entries that could be split away from the core wiki data. Yes. So um, there are definitely large chunks of entities in, in Wikidata that um, maybe don't need to be in Wikidata and would be better served in their own dedicated Wikibase instance where people who really care about this data and who know about this data can take care of it. Um, and this is definitely uh, something we're exploring, but it's also not a top-down decision um, that I or anyone else um, can take because at the end of the day, the content on Wikidata is determined by its editors and it's um, the guidelines uh, the editors develop. Um, so as it becomes easier to set up and maintain your own Wikibase instance, I think we will see more and more of that. Um, but it's a socially slightly tricky problem, let's say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ben, can you, can we hear you if you talk? cannot see you yet, but uh, no. you were muted, so OK. Uh, is there any plan to import existing RDF ontologies to Wikibase? Um, I think some of the projects we are working with um, are interested in exploring this. Um, so far for Wikidata itself, it has mostly been about linking um, to those ontologies. So um, for example, we have a lot of um, statements uh, linking Wikidata's properties and items to schema.org vocabulary and uh, similar things, uh, which has worked out uh, very well for Wikidata. But if you're looking for a Wikibase instance that follows a specific ontology, then you would probably want to import that directly. I'm not aware of tools that exist that make this particularly easy for um, a given ontology, but it's something to look into. Okay. 
don't see any more questions. There is one suggestion with a link. Uh, good to hear about federation. Patents could break out easily with a few essential properties that other wiki bases don't need it. It might be efficient. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the question also for me is, um, if I now install my own Wikibase instance, then I usually would start with my own Q1 or, or yeah. being Lydia Pincher. So I, I have the same problem again, that this does not match. I have my own my own numbering system uh, with all the great features of, 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 of Wikibase, of course, but uh, right. um, I really would, would want to have at least sub parts of the wiki data, because if I maybe set up my own instance about researchers, academic researchers, I want to import yeah. some of those and I want to have the exact Q numbers and, and P numbers and this will not be possible, I guess, right? Yeah, um, so that, that is definitely something we need to look into, right? Getting some of the data also from Wikidata beyond the, or any other Wikibase instance uh, for that matter, uh, beyond the, the properties that we are supporting now with Property Federation. Um, I think something that is often overlooked is um, Wikibase's ability to store external identifiers. So links to all kinds of other databases, websites, catalogs, you name it. Wikidata right now has about 8,000 uh, different properties. And I think about 5,500 or so of them are external identifiers, um, which is a huge number. Um, and I think we will see a lot of use for linking um, between different Wikibase instances via those external identifiers and then exploiting them. We're not making that um, exploitation of those identifiers particularly easy yet. And I think we can do a lot more nice and uh, custom things if you connect to Wikibase instances this way. Um, but that's a cup. Yeah, I have to make a short announcement. I will I will talk about this tomorrow in a tutorial session um, mm -hmm. because um, I've undergone the procedure of having an external identifier of the Vienna History Wiki recognized by Wikidata. So now we are in the process of how do we sync up and that's interesting. Yeah. So uh, this will be mentioned. So uh, semantic media wiki uh, data can of course be matched to wiki data. So yeah. uh, we are, uh, I think, jointly at the beginning here, but uh, I think this is something also the next talk we'll maybe talk about, uh, you know, connecting Wikibase and semantic media wiki. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, two talks uh, actually uh, coming up. Uh, regarding this area. There's one question, one more question. Uh, can you give a Wikibase example in the legal domain? That's interesting. Um, I would have to look up some examples for that one. It's not a domain I'm particularly um, familiar with. <laughs> okay. But I can uh, look it up and get back to you.